Show them how I freed. First mate, there's trouble. We got an emergency message from Port Zexen. A ship carrying dozens of exorcists just set sail for Titania. They have orders to eliminate the Lord of Calamity. Yeesh. Looks like the hideout's not so hidden after all. It wasn't me! I didn't tell them anything! Then you won't have any problem helping us. We're rescuing the Therians. Of course not! I won't let them take Kamoana again. Wait. That information came from the Bloodwings? No, from a peddler I often do business with. Exorcist operations like this are usually kept a closely guarded secret. And you're telling me a regular civilian knew about it? You think it's a trap? Trap or not, we don't have a choice. Our enemies know the odds. If they've set a trap for us, that means they think they can win. The Armatus! Yes, they're likely to throw armatized exorcists at us. Even your demon arm can't eat Armati. You might just have a real problem on your hands. If I can't devour them, then we kill them. Yeah, if we overcome the Armati, we can win. Like with Oscar. But his Armatus was still incomplete. From what I could gather, if the Exorcist remains Armatized for too long, their Moloch will turn into a dragon. But to prevent these dragons from running wild, Melchior embedded a self-destruction art in both Exorcist and Moloch. To think they would go that far. Uh, this is all just conjecture, of course, but we should prepare ourselves as best we can. Just make sure not to leave any regrets behind. Hmm. <laughs> I really can't fathom what the Abbey is doing. Even if they did let us know on purpose, why would they leave us be? I would have expected them to press the attack against us. Even if their aim is to capture our allies as some kind of leverage against us, their plan is too many holes. What if we decided to abandon Kamuana and the others? They'd be no closer to capturing Velvet. Do they actually want the Therians back? What are you saying? Why did Melchior place that illusion on a ball to lure Velvet in? That was so he could capture her, right? And in case he couldn't capture her, he could kill her and create another Therian. Okay, so if securing the Therians is so important to them, why would they throw Orthrus to the winds? That's a puzzler. Melchior was right there, and he didn't try to protect Orthrus at all. I don't understand it. It's like they're toying with us. I don't see any point in that either. They must know we won't give up. Actually... That could be close to the mark. What if they're just trying to rattle us? Everything would fit, including the assault on Titania. Whatever's going on, I don't think we're going to like it. So, Eleanor, about that Armatus Oscar used, was that something the Abbey has been working on for a while? I was never involved in weapons development or anything like that, but I did hear of a secret research division. Word was, that they were deciphering ancient scrolls and books coming from every corner of the Empire. Apparently, Teresa knew something of the ancient tongue, and they called her in to help from time to time. Did she work on Enominat's book? I was never privy to any of the details, but I think the books were mostly about controlling Malachim. Well, that Siegfried thing of Zavid's is some kind of power control device, right? The Abbey probably learned about Siegfried in one of those books, and realized they could use it to armatize. So Melchior tracked Zavid down and stole the formula. Makes sense. It was all so they could create the Armatus. Will Eifried be alright? Complete or not, they've seen that they can use the Armatus in battle. They have no use for him anymore. <sighs> Let's get back to Titania, Aizen. I'll help out with the ship. Right. Let's set sail.
It's an urgent message. Let him know that they'll be arriving at Titania within a few hours. So it was you all along, Bien Fu. M Miss Mogilu! I'm surprised I didn't sense it. There is a Gesh on you, interfering with our pact. <laughs> well played, Melchior. Impressive. That old man must have planned all of this, from the very moment you escaped me. Even my imprisonment in Titania and my encounter with Velvet. All calculated down to the minute. <laughs> nice. F forgive me, Miss Mogilu! There was no way I could fight against Lord Melchior's arts! <sighs> I don't care. I don't care about anything. And I don't care that I don't. We were listening. We heard it all. Oh, boring. Fine then, do with us what you will. It's not like I trusted you to begin with. Spy or no spy, this was inevitable. Besides, you're not sorry. Make yourself useful and fight for us. <sighs> you're good at this cruelty that's also compassion thing, aren't you? I just don't have the time to deal with you two. After this whole business is over with, I'll devour you, if that's what you want. Hey, Velvet. Tell me, what does it feel like to... hate? Does it torment you? Is it agony? Does the searing fire of your hatred empower you to feel? Does it give your life meaning where there was none? <laughs> Titania! There's an Abbey ship in the front docks! Take us around back! If you want your answer, fight by my side. You'll see it the very moment I kill Artorias. In the face of doom, still the crow caws defiantly. <laughs> you really know how to vex me. So, you're using the Forbidden Arts. This has to be Melchior's doing. <laughs> Stop! I'm the one you want! The Lord of Calamity. That again? What a melodramatic name. It's what you're called by the scores of citizens whose lives you've ruined. Face the enormity of your sins. What idiocy. Huh! We'll carve the weight of your sin from your flesh! We are the wings of the Divine Will! <laughs> the Armatus! As expected. Kill... them... I 
enough to kill! This is... it. They destroyed themselves. Just as I expected. The Abbey... They know exactly what they're doing. Grimoire, where are the Therians? Couldn't tell you. They came out of nowhere, and before I knew it, we were all split up. How's the book? Nearly done, but I'm still working on the critical passages at the very end. All of you, get on board the Von Eltia. I'll find the Therians. Oh? You really think we can make it past a horde of armatized exorcists? Stay behind. I don't care. <sighs> don't touch that! You don't have to do this alone. We're all in this together. And I promise... I promise I'll protect you, Velvet. You'll protect me. Long ago, Luffy said the same thing. But that sort of idealistic drivel will kill you. Make your worthless promises. They won't change reality. Look what happened to Luffy. Dead. Murdered. And I... I couldn't protect him either. In the end, no matter how much he cared for me, my only brother, he... His life torn away from him. How it must have hurt. Velvet... You worry about yourself, Luffy said. That's an order. An... an order? We have to keep Inominat out of the picture, so that I can kill Artorius. Let's go! We'll push the enemy back and keep an eye out for the Therians! <sighs> I know this isn't the best time, but I have something to say. Please forgive me. I've been a spy for Lord Melchior. You were the one telling the Abbey about us? Yes, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Melchior is a clever one, isn't he? Planting his spy right next to Magilu. After all, a forest is the best place to hide a tree. Melchior used his arts to place orders on Bienfu that overrode Magilu's pact. <sighs> that son of a dog. Bien! <laughs> Please don't hate me! I meant Melchior, not you. Really? Exerting control over someone else's life goes against everything Aizen stands for. We know you were forced to do it against your will. But my spying put everyone in serious Danger! That's still a fact! The Bloodwings also knew what we were up to. The Abbey would have figured it out with or without you. What'd you tell them, anyway? Um... Uh, that Velvet is actually pretty good wife material? And what fishing rods Aizen prefers? And what Miss Mogulu says in her sleep? And how fast Dial's tail regrows? What? That's what you told them? It's done. Pay it no more heed. But things must be set aright. Aright? How? Eleanor, I apologize for suspecting you. I'm sorry. Aizen? That's right! I must apologize as well! I'm deeply sorry, Lady Eleanor! Very well. Apologies accepted all around. Are exorcists using armatization aware that it could cost them their lives? I'm sure they are. 
If I were still with the Abbey, I would likely be using an Armatus too. Endangering one's own life in order to save the many? It's the logical choice. But using something that dangerous so frequently in battle is absolutely wrong. The Abbey must be starting to feel the pressure too. Even so, the losses are unacceptably high. That's how badly they want the Therians, and how big a threat we represent. Or it could be that it has nothing to do with us and the real point is to test their new weapon. That can't be! It's all an experiment?! A blade proves its true worth by making it through battle unbroken. Are exorcists all that different? Your logic is sound, but it's still awful. We were able to survive this time, but it won't be much longer until they've perfected the armatization. That's not the only thing we need to worry about where ticking clocks are concerned. Am I wrong? Velvet. It doesn't matter. We kill whoever gets in our way. Looks like you want to die. Got the Nicolas Dragon! Infernal Torrent! Dark Fang! Infernal Torrent! Sword and Dragon! Server and Quay! Lick the Vita! Sim! For two! Infernal Torrent! Sword and Dragon! Incandescent Team! Pyrogenic Wing! Infernal Blue! Gaze upon my fiery mirrors! No escape! Unarmed? First they robbed the Malachim of their will, and now their bodies, too. Makes me sick. But still, it fits their reason. They want strength, and no art can squeeze strength from a Moloch like that one. So, you all got away. It was all I could do to flee. I have lost face. You don't have a face! Uh, I was so scared! It's okay now, dear. I won't let them cause you any more pain. M Medissa was the one who saved us. Thank you. I could never forgive them for involving children. That's all. Kuragane, head to the rear docks. Keep them safe. If you find the Prince and Griffin, take the Von Eltia and escape. As you wish, Rokuro. Take the Storm Quell. I made it with the Orichalcum you gave me. You actually did it? I abandoned all desire and forged it with a clear mind. You will find no harder sword in all the world. Storm Quell. Made from Orichalcum. I'll use it well, Kurogane. Blade, Storm Quell. It's the hardest blade the world has ever known. Even to an untrained eye, that sword is obviously something special. Kurogane is a real master. Color me amazed. The God Blade Storm Howl versus the Orichalcum Storm Quell. This will be something to see. Will it end in triumph, or will you need to try more oomph? The gods alone know. The gods have nothing to do with it. Skill alone will determine who lives and who dies. Managed to avoid capture, huh, Prince? As did you. You did well to avoid Artorius and his forces. Lord Artorius is here? He is. I overheard some exorcists mention it. Artorius. If you want to die, do it alone. We're saving the Therians before anything else. Besides, we're so close to deciphering the ancient book. I know. We'll escape from the rear docks. Follow me. 
Watch out, Princey Wincy. You ain't no Therian. If Griffin gets there first, we're leaving you behind. Uh, understood. Will Artorius use an Armatus as well? I don't know. It's hard to believe that the Abbey's leader would risk using an art that could end his own life, but... The Shepherd's reputation would be ruined if he self-destructed over some botched formula. On the other hand, if the risk is based on the user's ability, then the Legates might not have any trouble. So if Artorius were to try, he'd Armatize with Inominat. Can an Empyrean be used as an Armatus? I'm not even sure Artorius can handle that. He'll do it. Why else would he try to revive Inominat? But we're talking about an Empyrean! He'll succeed. I'm certain of it. This is the Shepherd Artorius we're talking about here. Whether god or devil stands in his way, he won't be swayed. That's who he is. Velvet! But it won't save him. He'll die by my hand. Empyrean or no Empyrean. Ison, there's trouble. The enemy found the Von Eltia. Several enemy ships are heading this way right now. Set sail, now! I'm, uh, glad we were able to save everyone. There's no escape, Lord of Calamity! Benwick! Forget me! Take the Von Altia and leave! Now! That's madness! What do you think you're doing? If I don't take them down, they'll sink you from afar! <sighs> Raise anchor! We'll make it through somehow! Aye, aye. But don't die. You hear me? Crazy kids. We're not going to die. We're going to kill. No escape! Go to How's that? Four, four! How's that? Not good! Earth and water come! Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! You dead yet? What do we do now? We'll head to the front docks. To steal an Abbey ship, I take it. That's where the Abbey's main forces will be concentrated. And Lord Artorius should be there too. 
all the better. But we still don't have a way to fight Inominat. I told you, if you want to die, do it alone. I'm not asking you to come with me. Use me. Percival. Don't worry. Griffin got away. If you use me as a hostage, you should be able to steal a ship. I owe you one for this. But don't expect gratitude. I don't. Looks like this is our best and only bet. <laughs> We're going to the front docks to escape. Don't forget that. I know. Arthur's first maxim, right? Don't waste my time. About this whole hostage thing, you mean? Yeah, that too. But Velvet's acting really strange. And that's unusual how? Moggy Lou! Yelling at me won't change anything. Her thirst for blood knows no bounds. And she's got all the self-control of a wounded beast. With the way she's acting, I'm not sure she'll be able to escape. She's cut her way through all her problems before. She can do it again. I hope so. But everything has its limits. There's no blade that will not break. Nor is there such a heart. When the time comes, you'll need to make a decision. It's best you start figuring it out now. When the time comes... Let's get started! Well, looks like we shook off our pursuit. Of course we did. This is the Von Eltia. No, it can't be. This is terrible. Turn back, now! What? There's no way we can do that. I finally deciphered the last part of the book. If what it says is true, then you know me not is already... The coast is clear! All right, let's make a break for the docks. <laughs> You're running. <sighs> it's Lord Artorius, and... Sigurdai! <laughs> <laughs> no, stop! 
Please, now's the time to negotiate for safe passage. Step back, your highness. The girl before you wants nothing other than to kill me. You better believe it! <laughs> this is a trap. We're leaving. Let me go! I have to save her! That ain't gonna happen, kid. Don't forget, you're my ticket out of here, too. I'm not your tool! <coughs> Try to stop me and I'll take you down! Even you, Aizen! <sighs> Your Armatus isn't gonna stop me! Don't worry. I have another trick up my sleeve. That sword. Is that our Calcum? Good job, little bro. Never seen that before. Damn right! The hardest sword there is! It may be made of Orichalcum, but still... It's time. Stand down, Shigeru. Don't be a spoil sport. I'm just starting to have fun. Get caught in the middle of this, and even you won't survive unscathed. The one to face Velvet will be a Nominat. <laughs> <laughs> what? Hello, sister. Did you miss me? Luffy! Velvet's brother? So that's his game. That's right. I am Lafayette Crow. And more. I am also Empyrean Inominat, the Suppressor. N no, that's. Inominat? If you're gonna do this, you gotta commit! He's our enemy! I know! This is just. just another illusion! I'll devour all of you! See this? Velvet, that's what you've been doing this whole time, struggling against all reason. Shut up! Don't you dare pretend to be my brother! Forget the pain! Shooting stop! Round and round you go! Hold up! Don't let them crush them! Deception! Don't let them! No Let's go. Your struggles are over. All your pain, your suffering, I'll end all of it for you. Is this the power of an Empyrean? Exactly. This boy is Empyrean in Nominat the Suppressor. But how? We took away his strength! By kidnapping the Therians? Sorry to burst your bubble, but you were a wee bit late. It was never about the amount of malevolence the Therians devoured. What we needed to awaken him... ...was eight different types. Greed. Conceit. Lust. Cowardice. Selfishness. Obsession. Those six Inominat had already obtained by the time you managed to tear the Therians away. That leaves... just the two that Velvet carries inside her. Once Inominat has them, he will fully awaken. And I don't even need an Earth Pulse for that. I can eat them right here. <laughs> Like hell you will! What? If you're that weak, stay out of my way. Ow. It's 
all an illusion. That hurts, Velvet. Shut up! Shut up! Are you going to kill me, sister? <laughs> Velvet, it was always so hard for me. I was so frail. All I did was cause you trouble. Is that why? Is that why you wanted me to go away? you did. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Luffy. It hurt, didn't it? Fee! Kill him, please! But... please? It's Luffy said! He's... he's my brother! <gasps> but Velvet... I never wanted you to avenge me. I mean, it's that sort of selfish emotion that creates malevolence, that creates the demons. What? That's why I'm going to help Arthur. We're going to make all the pain in the world go away. Including that hate, that ugly malevolence in you. Ugly? Malevolence? The awakened Inominat will suppress all negative emotions. He will remake humanity into beings free from sin. You take away all their sins and people aren't people anymore! I think that's just what they intend. Like how they steal free will from the Malachim. It will be a peaceful world, free from pain. So your goal this whole time was to rob people of their free will? If even an exorcist like you can let your emotions tempt you to betrayal, clearly it is the only way. <laughs> I'll make this world a safe place free from demons. That has always been my dream. Don't worry. My wounds will heal. Once I have eaten you, sister. you. It's because of what you've done that I need to make amends. You've hurt so many people, and all for nothing. You can't... Fluffy! Unfortunate. But they're within me now. I'll find them. A weapon can't just be hard, you know. It's got to be flexible, too. Or it'll snap. If you're addressing me, do you care to test that out? Nah. Think I'll wait on that. At least until you and Inominat finish up your armatization. 
Shepherd Artorius, what have you done? It's all according to my plan, Your Highness. Let us return to the capital. <sighs> what just happened? We were eaten by an Earth Pulse. This happened to you before, didn't it? It's different this time. It looks like our awakened friend Inominat is using the land as his vessel. In other words, this Earth Pulse is now part of his body. I was able to flee him only because I found a rift in the Earth Pulse as it formed. So, Velvet and the others... I guess I won my bet. Took long enough. Bravo! You do have a talent, if nothing else. Oh, Melchior. If you're here, this place must be more important than I suspected. Move aside. I must close this Earth Pulse Rift. Bienfu, protect the Rift! Do well, and I'll forgive that little betrayal of yours! But if you run, my curse will follow you for eternity! Yeah, you got it! It looks like I just won my bet. If I let you seal this rift now, I'll never collect. Illusions won't work on me. You can't break a heart that's already broken. That day, I interrupted my art when your heart broke. I suppose I was taking pity upon my student. But this time, know that I won't hold back. I will grind your heart into dust! Awake. I'm glad to see you're okay. It looks like we got sucked into the Earth Pulse. Are you alright, Eleanor? What about everyone else? I'm fine. But... Kill. Kill. They killed. So many. Murdered. Slaughtered. It was all for him. I killed for... him. But he said I was... ugly. Nothing. <laughs> nothing. All for nothing. I can't. I have to kill. Die. Die. <gasps> the whole time, she... You're awake. Come on, we're leaving. I have to kill them. But he know me not as your... It's just an illusion! A fake! A trick! Or... What if it was really him? Then that means he betrayed me, doesn't it? You think I can't kill a traitor like him? Why? Why wouldn't I? Just how many do you think I've killed? You! Who watched me do it! I'm... sorry... Velvet! Luffy, time to wake up! I told you to stop calling me Luffy. I'm not a little kid anymore. <laughs> grumble, grumble, huh? You must be feeling good. You know me not! I have a fever, I'm afraid. No, this is At different. A, uh, to come today. a vision of the Until past? Then, you stay in bed. Ah! <gasps> oh! 
see. I killed him. It was easy. I'm used to it by now. All right, we're getting out of here with your power. But now! We've got to find Aizen and the rest. I said no! Enough! Stop it! They're the ones who need to be stopped! <laughs> Isn't that right? I'll kill them. I'll kill them all! You must calm down. Fine. I'll calm down and look for an exit. That's what you want, right? Whatever the case, we have to get out of here. Let's keep moving for now. Yeah, I guess so. Are you alright, Lavi said? Yeah, I am. But I'm worried about Velvet. This may be more than he can bear. Not that I blame him. Lavi said, perhaps you should rest within me for a while. No. But if you don't, then... I know. But if I hide, it'll only hurt Velvet even more. I should at least be at her side. You really have become stronger. But I haven't. I hate it. But there's nothing I can do to help Velvet now. Of course there is. Having someone nearby can be all the help you need sometimes. Like when I lost my mother. Eleanor... So, let's keep an eye on Velvet while we search for the others, all right? Just remember that I'm always with you, Laffy said. I know. Thank you. I'll end this quickly. Drop the shadows of darkness! Cerberus Wave! Take that! Devour! Infernal Torrent! Pyrogenic Dragon! Dragon! Cerberus Wave! Finish! Fire! Clear off! Illuminate us! Void Mire! Infernal Torrent! Soaring Dragon! Infernal Torrent! Jumping Strike! Infernal Torrent! That all you got? Take that! Devour! Infernal Torrent! Here! Soaring Dragon! Cerberus Wave! Got you finished! Lunar Serpent! Crazy This fight is over! Guard. Grounding strike! Thank you! Grounding strike! Got you! Soaring dragon! Cerberus wave! Rally cup! Grounding strike! Got you! Soaring dragon! Pierce! Grounding strike! Got you! Soaring dragon! Rally cup! Cerberus wave! Blade pierce through! Maelstrom! Incandescent speed! Grounding strike! Thank you! Got you! Soaring dragon! strike! Power! The Infernal Torrent! Soaring Dragon! Infernal Torrent! Soaring Dragon! Infernal Torrent! Really tell it! Left and right! Need to burn my fiery mirror! Running strike! Come on, those legs! Come on, really?
boy who called himself Inominat. Could he really be Velvet's younger brother? It could have been an illusion intended to torment her. Don't you agree, Eleanor? I do. Velvet's objective is avenging her brother, after all. We've all seen how strongly she feels about it. I find it hard to believe that the one so dear to her is still alive. I don't know what powers Inominat possesses, but I think that really was her little brother. Velvet was able to see past Melchior's illusions. But look at her now. I just don't want to believe that the real Luffy could do such a thing. Could it be possible that Inominat was reborn into her brother's body? I don't know. But if that was the case, I'm not sure Velvet would be in so much agony. Yes, I guess. Inominat actually being Velvet's brother. It makes a twisted sort of sense. But it's too awful. Guard! Grounding strike! Dark and light! Right. It's okay. I'm... tired. Have you been journeying long, then? Ten years. My master entrusted everything to me. But I couldn't do anything. 
Ten years? My wings are weak. It... It doesn't matter anymore. I see. If you've been working that hard, you surely need a break. I just happened to get my hands on some prickle boar meat. I'll be cooking up a stew for dinner. But would you care to join me? Huh? No, I... All I have on me now is this apple. Here. Once your belly is full of warm food, you'll be able to pick yourself back up. I can feel it. Your body is shouting, I want to live. I'm a disgrace. I don't deserve to live. Is life something you have to earn? To deserve? Well... These feelings are natural. You eat when you're hungry and cry when you're sad. Feeling these things is proof that we're alive. Alive? What's your name? Mine is Selica. Selica Crow. I'm an exorcist. Our Tori... No, Arthur. I'm Arthur. What in the world was that? Rokuro! Aizen! You saw it too, then? Sure did. Artorius. And he called himself Arthur. I've heard of this. The Earth and Historia. They say that events on the world's surface cast imprints on the Earth Pulse that runs below. In other words, an illusion of the past. It's not an illusion. That was my sister. So, he managed to fool her too, is it? Yes. Yes, that must be it. That's why she freed me from the prison. Rokuro, have you recovered from your wounds? Yep. Tough as nails. That's old Rokuro. I'm more worried about Velvet. she okay? Uh... How could she be okay? Inominat is reborn, and it's her little brother. A blade can't just be hard. It's gotta be flexible, or it'll snap the first time it meets an unexpected force. I misunderstood the true meaning of strength, and so did he. Let's just worry about ourselves for now. This Earth Pulse is completely under Inominat's domain. We can think of it as an extension of his body. Yeah. Which means my power won't get us out of here. Be wary. Inominat may be the one showing us these memories. Remember, he's after Velvet. And the two types of malevolence inside her. True. And we may be able to use that against him to get us out of here. What are you saying? Just use her? If it's necessary. We have to keep moving. Nothing will be gained by staying here. And we ought to look for Mogilu. Even she doesn't deserve to be stuck here forever. You better be ready. Uh, uh, got Shooting stop! Uh, 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 Infernal Taurus! Soaring uh, 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 Dragon! Uh, 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 oh, damn! Uh, Armored Crusher! Uh, 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 Infernal uh, Taurus! Uh, 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 Fury! Let's uh, uh, See this? Infernal Taurus! Victory is ours.
On to battle! Soaring Dragon! Take that! Devour! Armor Crusher! Armor Crusher! Soaring Dragon! Ready to flourish! Here and now! Finish! Lunar Sucker! Don't escape! See this? It's over. So, what is this earthen historia you mentioned? As I've said, an earth pulse is a natural force that circulates within the land. Wind blows. Water flows, birds fly, flowers bloom. All actions in nature leave their mark on the Earth Pulse. These marks become etched within the land itself and remain a part of the Earth Pulse, like memories. So it's a record of the world's past. Does it remember human and Moloch deeds? Everything that occurs is part of nature, including the acts of humans, Molochim, and even demons. So that means that even this very conversation is being recorded in the Earth and Historia? Anything bad I've done in secret, any insults you've ever told behind someone's back, the land sees it all. My... insults? It's just an example. Pay it no mind. Does that mean that Inominat is drawing specific memories from the Earth and Historia and showing them to Velvet? I believe so. That's how Rokuro and I saw the same thing even though we weren't there. With the Earth itself as his vessel, it's a trick only Inomina could pull off. Awfully devious for a self-styled Empyrean. But the attack did strike home. Keep a close watch on her until we're out of the Earth Pulse. Right. Velvet's psyche took a heavy blow there. Yes. She's in rough shape. How long do you think she'll last? What do you mean? Just what I said. Remember, hardness alone won't save you from breaking. If she keeps being shaken up like this, she won't be able to handle it. But what can we do? If she breaks, she breaks. Until then, we go on with our mission. What? Can't we help her? If you let sympathy fog your vision, you can end up crashed on a reef. Even so, we can't just let her suffer. It's too much. I'm fairly sure that Velvet would say the same thing if she was in Aizen's place. And do you agree, Rokuro? Me? I still have a debt to Velvet. I will pay it. But in the end, her fate will be something she'll have to decide for herself. That's true, but... Then I have a decision of my own to make. I won't give up on Velvet. No matter what. I see. Do what you have to. We won't stop you. Finished here. Let's go.
Always ready to fight. Grounding strike! For five! Was that supposed to be a joke? Welcome home, Arthur. Hi, Selica. I fixed the fence around the house. Oh, thank you, sweetheart. With the brigands stepping up their attacks, the town elders have been worried. But this should put their minds at ease. No. If the brigands turn into demons, a mere fence won't stop them. Hmm? Nothing. Don't worry about it. I'm pretty confident in my carpentry. And the other two? Probably at the Cape again. I've warned them a hundred times that it's dangerous. Luffy said probably badgered Velvet into going. Don't worry, she'll watch out for him. Yeah, I can only hope that this little one grows up to be as strong as she is one day. Huh? You're happy, I hope. Of course I am. I, I never thought I could ever be this happy. I, <laughs> I... I only wish I'd known earlier. I would have made something even nicer for you. Oh, you made this for me? Yeah. I put all my heart into it. I'll cherish it always. It'll remind me of this happy day. Let this serve as proof of our love. This I swear. I swear to protect you both with my life. That's Lord Artorius's past. <laughs> oh, that's rich! You made you believe that tripe! It's all a pack of lies. His smile. His promise. Everything. What we just saw... Was that from before the opening? Yeah. Celica was there, and Artorius still had use of his arm. It didn't look like he was an exorcist either. I never would have thought Lord Artorius could smile so tenderly. But he's since become an exorcist, 
taking on the mantle of Shepard and the weight of the world. All because he lost his beloved wife. I'd understand if you wanted to back out, but at this rate, I think the time is coming. Not much longer now. It's coming. <sighs> to think I ate up his lies without questioning a word. What a joke. Problems here. Velvet didn't know those things about Artorius and Celica, did she? Probably not. That was when the two were alone and first getting to know each other. We were seeing glimpses of a warm, loving family. But really? It just gave me the creeps. Same here. I could keenly feel Inominat scheming behind everything we saw. He's trying to get at Velvet. I think she used to truly love Lord Artorius. Having that happy past thrust in front of her at a time like this must be tearing her apart. Probably. But a demon like me wouldn't understand. What Velvet is going through is horrible. Even as a human, I can scarcely imagine what it must be like. But I approach it, just a little bit, because like her, I was his pupil. Artorias said he needed two types of malevolence to awaken Inominat. The illusions at a ball, making sure we knew about the attack on Titania, and Inominat appearing as her brother. If all of that was planned to extract the malevolence from her, we'd all better brace for worse to come. Don't waste my time. Got you! Soaring Dragon! Double haze! Apple haze! Ah, yeah, 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 Soaring Dragon! Bring this up! You're wide open! No Bring escape! Down. I'm down. Down. Killing Flash! But I'm this close! I won't <laughs> miss! Form Zero! Thunder! Oh. I'll stop it! Blades of Wind! Form Seven! Here it comes! Stop shooting stars! No mercy! Wounds I won't heal! Carving the flesh! Lethal pain! Smash! Other pressure! Pressure! Nope! I'll stop you! Infernal Come. Torrent! I'll stop you! Air Force! The Lido Bird! Nothing can stop these fists! Here I come! Deception! Who wants the next? Let's go! Deception! Wide open! Deception! If you want to live, get... The Scarlet Knight? This is Velvet's village. Damn! So many of them! Celica, I'm coming! It's too late! Take Velvet and Lafayette and run! I can't do that!
I want to have my life with you, with our child! No! Arthur! Sulika! Why? Why? Why couldn't I? Why couldn't I protect my own family? Remember this moment well, Artorius. Humans are weak, filled with sin. Melchior. The people of this village offered you and your beloved family up to the demon brigands. A sacrifice, so that they could escape and hide. No, they wouldn't. It happens often. The reason people act on is burdened by the weight of their sins. However... I have found a method to adjust their reason. A domain? What is this incredible power? Don't tell me the Empyrean we've been searching for was here this whole time! Molochim! So they have been reborn, but be not deceived. They are not the same people you knew. Why? Why must fate be so cruel? It appears that Inominat's resurrection is incomplete. We must guide him until we understand why. I'll be taking these Malakim. Wait! I'm sorry I couldn't keep my promise. I'll make things right. I'll abandon who I am. Nameless Moloch. I will forge a pact with you. I will put an end to all the pain in this world. Do you have it in you? You who abandoned my friend's ideals and fled. On the souls of my dead master, wife, and child, this I swear. My name is Artorius Colbrand. I have inherited the will and the strength of Claude in Asgard, former head of the Exorcists. Very well. Let tonight's tragedy change fate and birth salvation. That Moloch! It was... me! You don't remember? Not at all. They said you were reborn as a Moloch. That means... What exactly? The soul of a human who passed away can, given the right trigger, be reborn as a Moloch. 
You're saying that Artorius' child was reborn as Lafayette? If what we saw was real, yes. <laughs> uh, so the female Moloch that was born along with him was... My sister's reincarnation. But I ate her long ago. You... you didn't know, right? I knew. I had already caught on to who Ceres really was. Velvet... But it doesn't matter. What does it change? I'll devour anything to fulfill my goal. My sister. My brother. Even the world. That's who I am. That's all I am. That... was the day all of this started, wasn't it? Yeah, the opening. Inominat was halfway revived and demons became visible to all. His power also robbed almost every Moloch of their free will that day. I never imagined that Lord Artorius's quest to change the world was so steeped in tragedy. The villagers should have never sold them out to those bandits. It was cruel, yes, but nothing remarkable. People are capable of anything when under pressure. Even more so when they can do it under the mantle of the greater good. Velvet's family was probably the furthest outside the village circle that night. That's pure selfishness! Humans are selfish creatures. You should be aware of that by now. That's why you said what you said just now, even if you didn't know it. Artorius's quest to change the world, not Artorius's quest to save humanity. Uh, I... I mean no disrespect. It's just an observation. A man with the power to change the world turned his back on the potential of humanity. That may be the biggest tragedy of that night. <sighs> the savior of the world lost all hope in its people. On to battle! Grounding strike! Uh, uh, Fire! Fire! Armor Crusher! Die! No escape! Grounding strike! Got you! Armor Crusher! Got you! Hexes strike! Hexes strike! Hexes strike! Hexes strike! Hexes strike! Grounding strike! Got you! No escape! Here again! And down! Flash! When I'm this close, I won't miss! Form Zero! Thunder! Not good! Not good! Shock strike! Shock strike! Shock strike! Internal force! Mail strike! Good job. Aizen, you said a human soul can be reborn as a Moloch given the right trigger, right? Is that something that happens frequently? I'm afraid I don't have an answer for that. We know that humans are sometimes reborn as Malachim, but not how or why. It's more likely among people with greater resonance, but the process is still a mystery. Huh. So it's not something that happens, or that can be made to happen easily, ordinarily at least. But Velvet's sister was reborn as Ceres, and her unborn child came back as Lafayette. What are the chances of that? It might not have been chance. They both died on the Scarlet Night. Their rebirths may have been influenced by the sacrificial ceremony. Are you saying that Inominat made it happen on purpose? Call it an educated guess. But I don't think even an Empyrean can control the lives of humans or Malachim at his whim. If it wasn't chance, it might have been destiny. 
Velvet said she ate Ceres, her own sister reborn as a Moloch. How could such a horrible thing be destiny? Sorry. I didn't mean to make light of a tragedy, but our fates intertwine, the good and the bad, whether we like it or not. That- True. But this- Get a hold of yourself, Eleanor. Velvet and Lafayette are in rougher waters than any of us. They'll be looking to you to light their way. Yes. I must remain calm and steady. Look! Over there! An Earth Pulse Rift. We may be able to get out from there. Arthur, there's something I'd like to speak to you about, alone. <laughs> Two souls possessing powerful resonance and free of malevolence. These must be sacrificed on the Scarlet Knight. Ah, yes. The ceremony to resurrect Denominat. You read my book. I haven't fully mastered the ancient tongue yet, but I have read your notes. You wrote that if Inominat is resurrected, we can make a world free of demons. Seven years ago, a soul with strong resonance, my own unborn son, was sacrificed for that purpose. Now, Inominat's resurrection is half complete. Because of that, everyone's resonance has grown stronger, enabling them to see demons. Yes, that's the truth behind the opening. So, if one more person is sacrificed... Inominat's resurrection will be complete, and his power will spur the creation of many new exorcists. And there is another Scarlet Knight very soon. Arthur, I must ask. Luffy said. Can't I be the sacrifice? <laughs> Tell me, why do you think that birds fly? I think that birds fly because they must. Why else would they have wings if not to embrace the sky? I have wings too weak as they are. That's why I must fly. Now! If we miss this Scarlet Knight, the next won't be for another three years. By then, I won't be alive. said, why would you say such a thing? The Twelve-Year Sickness. That's the name of my disease. So you know... I'm not afraid of being sick, but I don't want to just be a burden on everyone until I die. I couldn't take it. Your wings are your will, and they are strong. Lies. Please, you can't tell Velvet about this. I promise. I'll make a new world. A world where my sister can be happy. Don't talk to me about will! About wings! Both of you! Together! You... You betrayed me! Whoa, hey! What's everyone apologizing for? We're a family, right? Hurry back! I'll make you a quiche! Just the way she taught me! No kidding. I think you'll be an exorcist to rival even him. Shut up! He fell further than this back at the shrine. I will have my revenge. <laughs> revenge for Lapiset! Lapiset knew so much more pain than I ever will. 
And still, I... I couldn't do anything for him. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Shut up! It's a lie! A dirty lie! All of it! It's all their lies! And I believed it! Die! 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 Get out of my way, you disgusting monster! Hey, what is this thing? An amalgamation of multiple demons? It doesn't matter what it is! I'll devour it until it's dead! Running strike! Shot drop! Four. I'll stop you! Running move! Double haze! Wind lance! Ready to die? Think you can dodge? Just try! Perfect mayhem! Jay Star! And down! Pummel! Taurus! No mercy! Wounds that won't shield! Carve into flesh! Lethal pain! Lightning! Sir Gap! Shot down! Come on! Shot down! Die! No escape! Down! Orochi's fury! Here it comes! Blades of Lightning! Sir Gap! Inferno Taurus! is the true face of my sister. <sighs> she hates, resents, devours, and kills. She tramples people, cities, everything, living only by her emotions. What an ugly, tainted soul. 
It's not like that! Nothing you say will matter. She knows. She knows if it's the truth. He's right. Just think. Everything I did was baseless. Arrogant. And even so, I still... You hurt so many innocent people, didn't you? More than I can count. I devoured and killed so many. Without even knowing Arthur's true aims. I destroyed people. I destroyed whole towns. And worse yet, you didn't even show mercy to your own sister's reincarnation. I... Ate her. And despite all of that, I still love you, Velvet. That's why I chose to become a sacrifice for you, sister. But think, if you try to stop the resurrection, wouldn't my death be all for nothing? To tell you the truth, I was terrified of dying. It was so dark. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm so sorry. You'll accept it then? That everything you've done up until this point, all of it. Yes. It was all for nothing and for no one. I hurt so many people, all for no reason. I'm a monster. If you've accepted it, you have to atone for your sins. Once I eat the final two malevolences inside you, I'll fully awaken. Give them to me. Give me your hatred, your despair. If you do, I can cleanse this world of all its pain. I had hoped that you could live in a world without pain and sadness. But you're a monster now. You don't belong there. Velvet! Let me go. I have to go. If you don't, you will die too for no reason. No! A twisted monster like me doesn't deserve to live. Don't you understand? You're the reincarnation of the first sacrifice. Part of me. Don't worry, I'll devour you too. Luffy ah! set, tell this self-absorbed idiot what she needs to hear! Please, let me go. Will you stop whining? Huh? No, I don't understand! You snap at people! You're scary! You... you tried to eat me! But... You're also kind! And you're filled with life! I don't understand a single thing about you! Huh? But you gave me a name when I was a number! You gave me that compass! You taught me what it meant to be alive! That's why I care about you, Velvet! I'll protect you for my own sake! Fee... I don't care if you're malevolent or if it was pointless! If the world says it's a mistake to love you, I'll fight the whole world! I don't care how pain you feel! It doesn't matter! A world without you, Velvet! Is the one thing I couldn't bear! Let me go. My hand will... Eat my arm! I don't care! Just leave me the other one! I needed to clobber the jerk who made my velvet cry! 
I... I love them all. I loved Luffy, and Celica, Arthur, everyone. To have it all stolen from me. Why them? Why not me? It hurts so much! Your despair, how is it gone? <laughs> A flame burns in my heart, too. A flame I cannot quench no matter how hard I try. Just like you, Velvet. I finally understand how you felt. But the only one I can fight for is myself. That's good enough. That's proof that you are truly alive. How many times do you plan to destroy and rebuild your own heart, Magilu? We're on 107. Who was it 108? I lost count. Not that I really care. Pathetic fool. Did I not tell you it would require an iron will as indomitable as the very trees that live and die across millennia? <laughs> like you, I suppose. Or that boy over there. <laughs> That is the foundation of an ideal world, one free from man's sins. <laughs> an ideal world, huh? You, kid. The boy who was your companion, Luffy said. He's alive. Chasing a terrifying demon girl, he has learned the immensity of the seas and weathered the dry wastes of the land. <sighs> Those people, they're different from us. Despite the pain, the anguish, they embrace the life they've been given. They live undaunted by the ugliness of the world! <gasps> So you're doing this all for them? Is that what this is? <laughs> Not even close. They aggravate me to my wit's end. <laughs> like stabs in the chest, over and over and over. And that's exactly why. That's why I intend to see how all of this ends. I won't be satisfied until I do. Words bereft of meaning. You truly are my greatest failure. Gosh, funny just how little I care. No, please! Ah! Let me guess. We came at a good time? You're late. Because of you, I had to have a really boring conversation. So, you came face to face with Inominat. If so, 
Then you must know that your quest for revenge is utterly meaningless. Yeah, I did. I know why sadness fills the world, and I know how deep are the burdens of sin. I tried to abandon my memories of Arthur and Laffy, to cut myself off from it all, and end this tragedy. It's... it's what they would have wanted. Exactly. You do well to know your place. But that's exactly why I can't forgive them. Not Artorius, not Enominot. I know my heart is ugly and full of contradictions, but those days we spent together in familial warmth, they're proof that I, that all of us, were truly alive. That's why, no matter how hard, no matter how sad it gets, I will take my vengeance to the very end! Velvet! Don't be a fool! Just give up and die like you ought! It is your destiny to wallow in despair! You take my family, turn me into a monster, and you want my soul too? Now who's being the fool? Remember this well. The Lord of Calamity never gives up, not even in the face of death. Have you no shame for your sins, you unholy monster? <laughs> Let me in on this. I lost a bet and I've got some anger to work out. You sure you can fight in your condition? Who do you think I am? Oh, I thought you'd never ask. I am the dastardly witch Magi Lu, scourge of self-righteous exorcists! Now face the wrath of Magi Lu Maven! Fools! All of you! Everyone, sorry to have worried you. I wasn't worried. I didn't realize you were someone who needed looking after. Me neither. This is our way of saying we trust you. Yeah. You horrible ingrate! See? Stabs in the chest, that's all you give me. Earth and wind! Zerga! Infernal Taurus! It is I! Zerga! Infernal Taurus! Is it a now rise arise ascending angel Artorius and you know me not. They took something precious from me. I'll never forgive them for that. The annals of history are stained with evil people like you. 
You spread havoc and destruction, all to satisfy your own ends. A dark font of malevolence. You're a demon lord, the irredeemable embodiment of sin! The Lord of Calamity. It is the Exorcist's duty to destroy you! You talk a lot. How about you keep talking and tell us where Ifrid is? You'll regret this. I can feel Inominot! He's coming! We can fight here no longer! Bienfu, close the rift! I can't! Come forth! <laughs> Carelessness will get you killed. Zavid! <sighs> you ruined the moment. Huh? Don't you mean, thanks for saving us, Savid? You're my hero and role model? Thank you for saving us, Savid. Where exactly are we now? We're in an abbey facility on Hexen Isle. I heard Melchior was in charge here, so I snuck in. I hadn't expected an extra-dimensional space. Is there a way out? There is now that I busted my way in. Let's head outside. We can talk then. Uh... Who's that? A friend. His name is number one. Hey, wanna come with us? If you stay here alone, a dragon might get you. I bet you wouldn't like that. Yeah, that sounds scary. Great! Come on, kid. What are you doing? We can't leave him like this. I'll get him a vessel, somehow. <sighs> Do what you like. <laughs>